I'm at Horace Kephart's grave, 1862 to 1931. He's buried here on top of the hill. I'll give you a little bit of a view of what it looks like from up here on the hill. He's buried in Bryson City, North Carolina. That's no secret. People come here and put stuff on the top of his rock that's got his tombstone type rock here with a monument, kind of a pilgrimage. He just moved in here from somewhere when he was 42 years old. He wasn't from here, but he did write our Southern Highlanders and catalog the way that mountain people lived back then as much as he could understand being not from here. He was a great advocate for the park. He actually lived down at Hazel Creek, which would be in the park today, that area. And they did establish the park, and he had advocated for that. He also wrote another book called Camping and Woodcraft, and he was one of the fathers of what would be the bushcraft movement. That's where people camped, did bushcraft style tasks. Now he had his own knife, that's called a Kephart knife, have about a 45 inch blade, no more than five inches most of the time. It'd have thin stock, no more than an eighth back then, had a spare point, Back then, they didn't do batoning and all this stuff, hammering their knives through big logs and all kind of stuff like that, like people do in bushcraft today. They just mostly cut stuff. They'd carry a hatchet or an axe with them. This knife here is the closest thing I have to a Kephart style knife. It is not a Kephart style knife, but it's a bushcraft knife. You can see that the points in the middle in other words, it, it's right in the center line of the handle coming down through there for drilling and all that. But a Kephart knife would have a bl more blunt point. It wouldn't be so pointy. They're not quite as pointy. The Kephart knife had a little more of a guard. In this area down here, that wood would come right on down there and have more of a guard instead of just a piece of metal kind of sticking down there. And it was a broom house style handle. It would come straight on back, be a little more roundish and rounded off at the back. But overall, this, this bushcraft style knife here was got all the attributes of a Kephart knife as far as function, but a Kephart knife would be a little bit different as I said. So Kephart moved in here, like I said, from somewhere up north. Wrote them a couple of books. He lived here the rest of his life and was buried here in the same county, same area of the mountains here where he basically lived. And his contribution, as I said, was our Southern Highlanders and the bushcraft stuff. So I thought I'd just take a look at his grave today. I was in the area. Just run up here real quick show you a view of the mountains and the town again a little bit. That's who Kephart was, and this is where he's buried right here.